side lengths because it intersects the ground at a right angle. Volume of a cylinder is area of base times the height as well. And that's okay because with the area of the base times the height, it's basically, if you think about it, as a bunch of little shapes stacked on top of one another. It's that how big that shape is times the amount of times we would do it, and that's how tall it is. Okay, and so that's name for the cylinder. Base times height. Well, the base is equal to pi times radius squared equals pi times 8 squared, 64 pi. And then 64 pi times the height, 64 pi times 12, 64 times 12, 768 pi meters cubed. This one should also be meters cubed, and that's all there is to it. Area of the base times the height. That's all there is, guys. And we're going to talk about a couple of different aspects of surface area. The first that we're going to talk about is lateral area. Now, lateral area is the area of the surface that is not that is not the basis. And so when I say this, I'm meaning you find the surface area and subtract the ladder or subtract the bases. So in a prism, it would be everything but that pentagon that's in the pentag pentagonal prism. Okay, so the lateral surface area is all the stuff that makes up the sides that are not the bases. And the surface area is the total is the total area of all the faces of a 3D shape. I actually have a di uh, an interactive for this. And if you look at here, it says find the surface area of a cylinder. I want, you to sh I want to show you. The top and the bottom are obviously circles. So we know how to find the area of circles. But if we look at what the sides are, look at this demonstration. As it rolls out, look at what happens. This pink line here becomes the length of the rectangle. And so if I replay this, watch what happens. As it rolls out, that pink line becomes the length of the rectangle. And I'm going to pause it, and you'll see, so the circumference of the circle is the length of the rectangle, and the height is the height. So we have a circle on the top, a circle on the bottom, and a rectangle that goes around the outsides, just like the net diagram. All right? And so when I find the area of this, the bases... are going to be pi r squared, which is equal to pi times 1 squared equals pi. So times 2 would be equal to 2 pi. Okay, so there's my first total. So whatever I'm going to get for this rectangle around it is going to be added to 2 pi. And my lateral area, which is a rectangle, equals length times width or base times height. So my length is equal to circumference of circle. So that's equal to pi times diameter equals 2 pi. And my, height, my width is equal to my height, which is equal to 5. So area rectangle equals 2 pi times 5 is 10 pi. So my total surface area equals 2 pi plus 10 pi equals 12 pi. Okay? Try to wrap your head around that. If you need to go back and relook at it, do it again. But the length of that rectangle is the circumference of that circle. And the height is the height of the cylinder, okay? So 12 pi meters squared is the surface area. And the lateral area is this over here, okay? See if you can do D on your own. It's a cube. It's a little deceptive with the picture, but it's a cube. And then I've got another cylinder down here for you to try, okay? Try those two, and we'll see you next time.